we are working with the IDB, who has been a very solid partner with us, a very timely um, and, and good partner in helping us to address this matter from a technical perspective and also to, to help us to, to purchase and procure some of the, um, the the systems and some of the infrastructure that will be needed. Um, that is not under under cars as yet, but in due course, we do believe that we will be able to utilize um, through a facility with them that has already been uh, agreed to, um, that we will be able to then utilize that to be able to assist with some of the upgrades that are going to take place at the QEH to ensure that the systems there are not only uh, cutting edge, but they also are as secure as we need them to be for that facility going forward. You have persons, unfortunately, who wake up every single day seeking to find a way to either maliciously or just from a perspective of being annoying, um, trying to disrupt a service, disrupt an organization or disrupt even a government. Um, so it is one of those things that requires around the clock monitoring and the government has continued to engage in that activity and that practice. We've always sought to upgrade and enhance our cybersecurity maturity. Um, there's room for improvement. And of course, that is always going to be the case because they said there is always going to be a threat to your system, to your organization, to your systems um, and to your structures. Those vulnerabilities now uh, are being addressed uh, aggressively. We have not only brought in a technical person, a cybersecurity consultant, who is assisting and working with the team at MIST uh, around the clock since the incident would have taken place to not only bring back the services back online, but also to upgrade and enhance the cybersecurity scenario situation and environment at the QEH.